Hey guys, welcome back to Shucky Horror Play. It's Austin here. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on Terrifier 3. Now, go grab a snack and come back and let's get into this video. So, guys, here I have my little journal where I wrote down some notes. So, I won't forget anything that I want to say about the movie. Now, with that being said, Terrifier 3 is hands down my favorite movie in the franchise. Like... To me, it beat out All Hallows Eve. It beat out, um, of course, Terrifier and Terrifier 2. And I really, really, really like those movies a lot. So that's saying a lot. So if you guys haven't went to see Terrifier 3, y'all should go check it out. And this video will be a spoiler video since the movie has been out now for like two or three days. So I'm going to be talking kills and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, um, up next, I just want to talk about how it was good from beginning to end. Like... It didn't lose my attention at all from beginning to end. Um, the beginning, it was actually just so shocking that, like, I think we had, like, two people who got up and left out of the theater because of how shocking and gory it was. It was crazy, but the movie never stops being, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? It never just, it just never stopped being good. I can't think right now, guys. Um, <laughs> up. Uh, also, Laura Lava Laura Lavera, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's hands down one of my favorite um, final girls now. She played the hell out of this role. Um, like her acting, like she showed her trauma, like she like everything was believable with her. Um, from the scenes of her sitting at the table with her friend that are the clown murder and Terrifier 2. I forgot the girl name, but he murdered her in Terrifier 2 when they were at the Terrifier. Um, and so she was seeing her in some of those scenes um, and the girl was basically blaming her for her um, past being murdered, basically. And like her acting, it was just, it was, she, it was, I was blown away from all of it. Um, yeah, and then like Arthur Clown, he was so much scarier in this movie in my opinion his face expressions there was a lot of scenes where he would just stop and his face his face expressions it was just so ominous it was crazy um and he was also really funny in this one like a lot of the stuff he was doing like walking around in the little santa um costume also that bar scene where he goes um and he sees santa claus and then he's like like, he was so excited to see Santa Claus. It was just so, it was too good and funny. Um, Victoria. So, if you guys don't know, we get Victoria back in this one. And she actually has a lot uh, in this movie. Like, we get more her than we've gotten in the past movies. She, her and Art together is so good. Um, I don't know. They were just so scary together. And the stuff that Victoria did in this movie, she that just made me become a big fan of the character Victoria. And hopefully that means we get some merch of, uh, from Victoria. Now that we've gotten Terrifier 3, like we got the little pale girl. Hopefully we get a Victoria animatronic or mask or, you know, something like that. Um, that scene at the end of the movie with Victoria and um, Lauren Lavera, where it's like a lot of supernatural stuff, like a lot more is shown in this movie. Um, and there was just this one specific scene where her eyes are lit up and she's trying to take over Laura's, um, Sienna's body. And it was just, it was out of this world. Um, what else I want to talk about? Oh, also the, the supernatural stuff. I want to like touch on it a little bit because a lot of people I've been seeing complaining about Terrifier 3 and how they hate that he brought supernatural elements to the franchise. But I'm like... Didn't y'all watch All Hallows Eve? Like supernatural stuff been a, a thing in this franchise. Like in soup in All Hallows Eve, there was um that one um part of the anthology where the girl was trying to get away in her car and Arthur Clown was literally appearing on her back seat. Like how do it go from her leaving him at that gas station, I believe, to him appearing in her back seat? Like, Art the Clown was always supernatural, so I don't get why people are complaining about that. I just wanted to touch on that as well. Um, also, the kills. The kills were were great. Um, 
the bathroom the bathroom scene everybody was correct on that that scene made me um scream and it was embarrassing er the theater was silent and i did scream and it was funny actually but that scene is that scene was messed up that's the bathroom scene is also is my favorite scene and also we have the scene with the construction workers where they're up in the attic and art like splits the guy's head down the middle i believe and pulls the skin like it was it was rough that was a scene um <clears throat> But yeah, those are my top two scenes. I think those are the two scenes that I do want to talk about. But there were a lot of good kill scenes in, in Gore in this movie. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about. I'm going to rate this movie. I'm going to give Terrifier 3 a 10 out of 10 for me. There was nothing that I disliked about it. I Like, like I said, I liked it from beginning to end. I, the gore was great. Um, all of the kills were great and shocking. Um, I love the whole 80s, 70s, 80s vibes to the uh, movie. I'm glad they brought in all of the Christmas elements. Um, and yeah, all I can say is I'm ready for Terrifier 4. Guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you th guys thought about Terrifier 3. And uh, let me know down in the comments your favorite kill scenes. And with that being said, make sure you guys like this video um and subscribe and i shall see you guys in my next terrifying video